Okay guys, here's the heater. I got it torn down again. I'm um, going to make some modifications. I was running into an issue with the actual motor, or not the motor, but the oil. Um, and you can see it just turned into like a sludge. It was getting so hot, it just basically cooked it onto the top surface and onto the inside um, and even down below. So what I'm going to do is a couple modifications on this turn. I'm going to go ahead and try something again that I tried a long time ago when I first put this together is uh, a drill a sixteenth inch hole which last time I did a quarter inch hole in the stationary discs and what that did is allowed for pass through of the oil around the the drive drive discs and uh, I'm gonna go with a smaller hole this time and not allow as much fluid to pass between the actual system and I'll stagger the holes uh, one left one right one left one right one left one right and so on up the entire column of discs uh, on the stationary discs only. The drive discs will not, will not have any holes whatsoever. Um, that's that'll create a cavitation effect. This is not a cavitation heater. This is an atomic friction heater. So <clears throat> that being said, looks like I just gotta do a little bit of uh, drilling, grinding. Um, I'm gonna take this system off. This was actually holding the the discs in place. You can see they're spring loaded so that was holding the stationary discs compressed against the the spring or the shims themselves I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate this I've come up with a new design um, these were semi failing what would happen is after a while uh, when this got up to temperature these springs would weaken and the actual pressure on this would decrease to the point where it would allow them to slip momentarily enough to where I didn't like it so I'm gonna remove this entire system make the hold down pressure um, adjustable pressure from the outside and I'll show all that when I get that done so here's the inside the oil being burnt around the top I gotta clean all this up and I'll be running a direct drive system I'm gonna get rid of the pulley and then I'm just gonna be running a Lovejoy uh, coupler drive coupler so yeah there's a electric heater 1500 watt electric heater back there still in its box because I People were asking me to do a comparative between an electric resistance heater and also this heater that I've built and um, ran it on the same watt, watt meter, kilowatt meter, and uh, I, I, my house was clearly being heated a lot cheaper from my system than, than that. That is going back to Costco. So anyhow, long story short, uh, should be done in a couple days. and. You can see everything. It's, things are real pain in the ass to tear apart and put back together, but there's no manual. <laughs> this is it. All right. Uh, if you guys want to leave a comment, feel free. If you got any questions, feel free to email me. And I'll try to get back to everyone that, I, that that emails me. And um, if you got any two cents into it, leave it. Thank you.